Good morning. Today is November 24th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today we have a commemoration, a commemoration of three uh, pastors that were uh, in North America in early, earlier days, um, basically seven, um, 18th and 19th century, but we, have, uh, we will commemorate Justice Falconer, Yehu Jones, and William Passavant. Justice Falkner, Fak, Falkner or Falkner was born in Germany on November the 22nd, 1672, emigrated to America in 1700 to sell real estate. He was ordained a Lutheran pastor in Philadelphia in 1703 and served congregations from Albany to the Raritan Valley in New Jersey. 1708, he published a catechism in Dutch concerning Lutheran doctrine, began married life in 1717, fathered three children, and he died in New York City on September 21st, 1723. Justice Faulkner was uh, the first Lutheran ordained outside of Europe, was one of the pastors who ministered in the historically new multi-ethnic situation in America, working in Dutch, German, Swedish, and English, he served Lutherans of various nationalities, including free and enslaved Africans, from Albany to New Jersey. And then um, Jehu or Yehu Jones was born in Charleston, South Carolina in 1786, began a married life, fathered nine children. 1832, he was ordained a Lutheran pastor. 1834, he began ministry to African Americans in Philadelphia, and he formed the first African American Lutheran congregation is politically active to improve the social situations of African Americans. In 1839, he was refused support by the Lutheran Ministerium of Pennsylvania and he left the ministry and he died on September the 28th, 1852. Jehu Jones, the first African American Lutheran pastor, was a victim of racial prejudice. Unable to travel to Liberia as a missionary, he was urged to leave Lutheranism for another church body. When serving an African-American congregation in Philadelphia as a pastor, his ministry was not supported by the area Lutheran Judicatory, and in his last years, he disappeared from the record. William Passavant was born in Pennsylvania in 1821. He served as a pastor in several congregations, and he supported the Lutheran Deaconess Movement and Lutheran publications. In 1845, he began married life, and fatherhood, founded hospitals, orphanages, elder homes, a college, a seminary, and he argued for Orthodox Lutheran theology over pan-Protestantism. He died in 1894 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. William Alfred Passavant, the first Lutheran pastor to bring the de deaconess movement to the United States, was passionate about the call of Christians to care for all in need, and he established many institutions for care, ecumenically active in his social concerns, he was concerned to maintain a particularly Lutheran emphasis in theology. And this is from his writings. We will gratefully receive the might of the poor and the bounty of the rich towards the rebuilding of this hospital so greatly needed for the sick and suffering over the whole Northwest. Here a little company of Christians are toiling night and day in ministrations of mercy to the suffering. They only desire a proper shelter for their sick and their strangers within their gates that they may receive them minister them, and heal them in the name of Christ, or prepare them to die in Christ and in peace. For themselves they ask nothing. For these, the poor, the shattered, the afflicted. They ask everything that love can give. And uh, kind of in honor and memory of these uh, pastors, today we have a prayer for pastors and bishops. Let us pray. Ever-living God, strengthen and support pastors and bishops that with patience and understanding they may love and care for your people. Grant that, that, that together they may follow in the way of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.